I thought, yeah, I could let this go. Yeah, I thought I could let this go off what happened last time with the Red Velvet, but I can't. We have to do Kaz Kitchen, but a Red Velvet Special. I have to try again. Let's go. Let's do this. So you go straight into it. We've got buttermilk. We've got butter, room temperature as well, so it's easy to mix. And unsalted, really important. We have red colouring. So first we'll do the dry mixture, which is flour, cocoa powder, and Bacardi nail soda, yeah? We're going to mix them all together in a sieve. Yeah, let's get this. So you have to estimate it with the amount, how big you want your cake. So I'm doing quite a big one, so I put 200 grams of plain flour. I'll put three teaspoons of cocoa powder. I'm putting just a bit of salt. That's all right. And I'm putting the bicarbonate of soda. Luckily with this here, it says, what is it? Wait, what does it say? Oh, yeah, this is it here. It says, if you can see it, six sachets, one sachet equals one teaspoon, which is exactly what I need. So get these, man. These are really helpful. Let's save it all together, mate. Oh, don't make too much of a mess. Can't be asked with the cleaning, to be honest. Ignore that, but yeah, this is how it's supposed to be. And then I just do that, just put it aside, keep putting it aside. Keep doing that, keep shifting it until you see a bit of more colour in it. But it's, it's not white, it's more, you can see a bit of colour powder in there anyway. So, I don't know if you can see, but you can see it's not really, it's not white anymore. You can see the cocoa powder has now mixed with the, the, um, the flour. That's the kind of what you're trying to get after. Now, <coughs> the wet mixture. Alright, so I put three of the unsalted butter in there. Make sure it's in room temperature because then you can whisk it easy. If you get out of the fridge, it's going to be very difficult to whisk it. You've got the melt. In it. So, make sure it's all creamy before you continue. Yeah? So, once the butter looks all creamy, it's a light brown. Get out of the way, man. Light brown sugar, yeah? Put, I put one one full cup and a half of, but it's, my cup's quite small yeah that but that equals to 300 g's yeah and that's what i put in the mixture make sure it's all gone in next the eggs so normally you would use um two large eggs but me being me i bought medium so we're gonna use three medium eggs but you should really use two large eggs After a while, it should come like this, you know? Because it keeps doing it for a little while. Next, you fuse both this and the dry. Wait, I forgot. Last thing, you put a teaspoon of the extract you know, into the wet mix before you start fusing the two, you know? Look at that sheer balance. Oh, sh crap. Just as I say that. Oh, well, might as well go in there then. Yep, yeah, that's a teaspoon. So I just mix the vanilla extract in, now I'm put a bit, obviously I already started a little bit already. Then bit by bit, I'm not showing you the portions I'm doing, so I'm going to do that portion, mix it, then put a bit more and a bit more. Just to reduce the mess, I just, I've got OCD, I don't like mess man. Sure. So that's, my, that gave me an arm workout and a half by the way. My right arm is finished. So you can see that it kind of gives me that chocolate feeling now and it smells really, really good already. So now two things that I need to do now. Bottom up first, then... The red colouring. So I've got half a cup of buttermilk. Yep. Just pour that in there. Mix it again and then we put our red colouring. The last thing. The holy grail. Now I would say yeah, like, oh yeah, put two teaspoons of to be honest, yeah, last time I tried that yeah and it's it was enough. So I'll say put as many as you ca as you think it is. So I'll put that's probably a tablespoon, yeah, and then mix it together. And it's if you need enough, put enough. So just estimate it. There we go. It's actually doing very well, actually. So maybe tablespoon decent. It's actually doing very well. And there it is. Good color. Good mixture. And I'm already, I already got my. I'm very proud of this. This is probably the most I'm proud of the way. Look at it. I'm like a professional. My God, so I put it in the cake tin. I've been here for like, I say, a half an hour or so, and low fire, and that's it. So, this is the, let's see how the first one goes. So, bang this first one in the oven, 
Oh, this mod's really nice. Let's see how it comes out. So here it is, after 35 minutes. Looking nice, smelling nice, smelling great actually, in fact. I poked them to check if the film is cooking. All came out great. So there's my red velvet, but we'll do a double layered. So I've still got another mix to do, and we'll do a double layer and put it on top. So while that last was in there, time to make the icing! Ice and sugar, soft cheese, double cream. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yes, I am. Um, my very good friend, the extract. Yeah. Oh, focus. There we go. So first thing we'll do, I'm going to do double cream. Yeah? Put both, but pour both double creams in here and then mix it to soft peaks. I'll we'll show what soft peaks is. So at the moment, you can see the double cream. It's like that. So we need it to be soft peaks. So we need to whisk it. It might take a little while. Just say 10 minutes. Maybe less than that actually, let me not exaggerate. Right? Whisk it into a soft peaks, yeah? This boys and girls is soft peaks. There we go, you see that? Now it's got this thing like I think five minutes here, non-stop whisking, yeah. That's soft peaks, yeah. So I'm using that, that be soft peaks. Alright, next up is the other mixture. So that's cream cheese already. I put all the cream cheese in there. I'm gonna put I'll say one and a half cups of ice sugar in there. Um, and then I'm going to put another teaspoon of vanilla extract in there and then mix it all together. So now I put them all in the cream cheese, ice and sugar and vanilla extracts. And now I'm just mix them all in again. For the cream. All in. So it should come out like this. Look at that. It's a nice creamy texture. So now, I'm going to cut this now. So now I'm going to fold this into this now. Combine the two. So using this, I'm going to... Take a bit out, leave my own body, and put it in here and just fold it. Just to keep folding. And there you have it. My icing. So let's go check on the second batch. Well, my second layer of cake. Mm, nice. Look at this beauty. Even better than my first layer. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. The boy done well. Yeah, don't drop it, Cass, don't drop it, Cass, don't drop it. Alright, there's the finale, yeah, the big one. This is the bit I've been fearful, yeah, the assembling. So I've got my first layer, my second layer, and the cream cheese icing. So the plan is to ice this bit, put this bit on top of this without anything breaking, and then put this on top of that as well. <sighs> Alright, let's go, man. Alright, they done. That's the first layer laid up. Nah, no, oh gosh. Boys, this is a big moment. I've done it. So I flipped mine over. Yeah, you see some of the sheets coming out. I just thought flipping it would be much easier. Push that in a little bit. Yeah, so now I'm going to put the rest of the icing in. And we're nearly done. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Okay, icing done. By the way, never tell me I might come out of task, yeah? Because I've been doing this while cooking my stew pork at the same time. Oh, a bit foggy. At the same time, yeah? So never tell me I might can't do hard multi task. And just to make it pretty, I bought sugar stars and chocolate crispies because I'm a child. Listen, I'm so proud. I'm actually so proud. It just looks so good. It smells great as well. Goodness, man. I done my thing. So, my double layered red velvet cake is 